Summer has returned to the island of where the herbivores first were. It, it has been a long, long, long journey and they have come to rest back at their old home. More water has come for them to be, but it has gained up so that the water pressure is very, very high. It, the carnivores have got their first meal to have, which is a, a baby Pterosaurolophus, and they do not like what they are seeing. These dinosaurs can go, a Pterosaurus can grow up very big, and this one is on a rock, eat, this Diplodocus is, is eating some some plants on top of a humongous rock. A Brachiosaurus walks through the water even though the water pressure is very high. It starts to get nervous and walks back out again. The carnivores ate all of their meat and a and, and are still looking for their food. All they need to do is catch that Amargosaurus to have the food. The Amargosaurus has already knocked down a first tree branch in the summer. The Brachiosaurus walks behind a big rock to the other part of the water and comes out onto the dark side and gets ready to start whacking the carnivores when they don't notice. But the Dilophosaurus jumps up and grabs him on the neck. The, the Brachiosaurus can't get him off and falls to the ground. The carnivore eats, eats the, um, the Brachiosaurus. And then the carnivores of Ruin Summer once again. The Brachiosaurus can't get killed in one bite, so it keeps going. As all of this contains better, these dinosaurs are not the best hunters. Mollies fall down. Because it's been quite a while in the summer. Winter will return, but all the dinosaurs keep on moving. More dinosaurs eat, <laughs> have food, involving the herbivores. The carnivores come out of the dark side and go past the first fern. The Dilophosaurus catches them and keeps going with them. The Brachiosaurus leaves over to the part where they were huddling. They all start moving to the side, taking on getting ready to take on the big Amargosaurus. The T-Rex had stayed over at the Winter Island where it, where the, where the Diplodocus and the T-Rex became friends. And kind of was moved out and started hunting and came to the Amargosaurus and came out from behind a rock that the Diplodocus was eating on. This was not a very good sign for them, but they knew that they had to do this to survive the summer. The carnivores ate, did all they could 
and eventually they would get what they wanted. They all start, started getting closer and closer to the herbivores as they moved around. And then once they had got there, the Amargosaurus knew he had to move and came back over. The carnivores had a big chance of getting food as the Amargosaurus walked through the water. This wouldn't hurt the Amargosaurus because it was a very, very big dinosaur. The baby Brachiosaurus kept moving. The, dip, the big Diplodocus is in a very bad mood. It came waddling along across and ate some fur, some more ferns. This was the this was the weirdest thing that had ever happened to the carnivores. So they decided to get the diplodocus. All surrounding it made the, the dip couldn't they would be able to get the diplodocus. Diplodocus was very scared about trying to kill all four of these carnivores. So it started hobbling along through the middle but a T but a the T-Rex caught it and then all the dinosaurs got, two of them got down on him and set the Diplodocus to die. All they had left was a Amargosaurus, a Triceratops, a spiked one, a Stego and a baby Brachiosaurus was all that was left. All these dinosaurs could do no harm, but as babies grow into big ones, it's how life went on. The Amargosaurus kept, kept on going, but the carnivores had another huddle up, and, more, and, and dinosaurs hid under leaves just to be safe. So the carnivores couldn't get them. It was a wondrous sight to see that the herbivores were finally coming back to what they had started. All they they went together into a group, the last herbivores, to defeat the four hungry carnivores. This was the moment of time of when the carnivores would strike to the herbivores, but they had no idea what was coming next. 